Where are we headed, Chunk? Paint mine area. We're in the paint mine area. We came down paint mine road and apparently some man found a paint pigment and mined that. He mixed this pigment with linseed oil and it created a paint that was actually too good. <laughs> it lasted longer than the things that it got painted on. It would last a long, long time. A little bit of bugs here. So basically it was a one use product that nobody, you know, one purchase and that was it. You never bought it again. This is along the St. Croix River on the Wisconsin side. We're gonna head down to the paint mine area and see what, you know, what it looks like like Wow, look at these walls, guys. These were put up a long time ago, and they're still standing, put up in the 1890s, uh, sometime around there, but they're still, they're still standing up. Looks like there's some older steps here. Uh, <laughs> who knows where they're going to, but these are like ancient ruins. Probably put here by the, uh, maybe the mines up on the top up there. I'm not really sure. I mean, this is really old, but we're gonna keep heading down to the river and we'll show you that area. Oh, look at this old brickwork here from days long gone by. Okay, it looks like a, a little stream or this is gonna head down to the St. Croix River. Not sure exactly which one it is.
it looks like we're coming to a clearing. We are down by the St. Croix, St. Croix River. Looks like a nice little campsite over here. Some wood set up on the barbecue, the fire pit. The trail was very easy to walk on. No steep drop-offs or anything like that. Just very easy access to get down to the St. Croix River. It's nice down here, isn't it? We were walking through the, uh, through the woods and the mosquitoes were, <laughs> they were making a play for us, weren't they? Mosquitoes are trying to get our blood, but we told them, no, sir, no, sir. Not today. Wow. What? Beauty. It is. Not on my face though. You're pretty. <laughs> wow, it's so nice. Uh-huh. But yeah. Seems like it dropped off. No. Well, we were told that it's not that deep. I don't know for sure. Oh, it would be nice to go fishing right here, Dad. I think this would be a nice place to go fishing, yeah. There's a nice big rock over here. It's like a trail kind of going along here. You know, this might be a deer trail. You can see how it's kind of packed down. Pretty typical of animals that'll walk in the wild. And that's probably a, a white tail deer trail. Oh yeah, really nice upstream. And coming downstream. Hi, what are you doing over there, explorer? <laughs> okay, jump in. Fish. To go fishing? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Just sit down here and throw your fishing line. And... Yeah. Is it big? Yeah. Wow, yeah. look at that. Small mouth bass. Small mouth or large mouth? Oh, okay. oh. It's pretty peaceful, isn't it? The river seems to be flowing pretty fast, but not, you know, it's not rapids. But again, if you were con maybe canoeing or kayaking down the river, you would look over here to the left and you'd see a campground sign. You'd see that one, see that sign, and you'd say, oh, okay, we can pull off for the night. Come on over here, pull your kayak up on shore and just come on up in here. Looks like somebody left some wood. We saw that earlier when we came in. You'd have a place to cook dinner and a place to set up your tent. Nice area, real nice area. I'm not sure what that is. Is it a bathroom maybe? <laughs> I can imagine a bathroom being out in the woods this far. Look at this grass, look at how the wind just kind of blows it. Beautiful day out today. Guys, it's been smoky with the forest fires up in Canada. And uh, we've had some really dark days, but this is, this is really nice. As we were walking down, there was a little stream along the path and it flows out right over there. You can kind of see the, the inlet area over there where it just kind of flows out into the St. Croix River. Here's some remnants of old uh, construction left alongside the river. Just nothing but boulders right now. And straight out ahead, that's an island over there. It'd be really fun to canoe out there and just bomb around and see what's out on that island. All right, as we were heading out of the painted area, we were told that there's a, an old water wheel here, probably for processing the pigment. So we're kind of keeping our eyes open for it. And here we are. This is it. 
There's a pipe over there for uh <laughs> what did you say? It's not working the <laughs> wheel. That wheel is not working. Yeah. What? What's up? <laughs> it's way too old, hon. Way too old. I love to tease my wife. But yeah, you can see the old pipe coming out. Some pilings over here. The pipe probably came over, rested on these, and then uh spun this wheel for I don't know, whatever type of processing they did if y'all know anything the thing is this there's there's not much I mean it's really hard to find out about the history of the paint mine I'll leave links in the description uh, to you know for you to kind of look at but the history of this area is just it's almost disappeared just like this mine in this processing area I guess I can walk in the water a little bit. But yeah, look at this old pipe. Uh, apparently, a person found a pigment in clay, and that pigment was used to produce paint. Hence, you know, the paint mine road, the paint mine area, and with that, created this infrastructure and, uh, and a paint that was so good that it was only a one-use product. <laughs> Who knows how long it lasted? 20, 30 years? outlasted some of the items that uh, were being painted. So guys, as we continue to explore the St. Croix River Valley, we wanted to share this little hidden treasure, uh, the paint mine area, paint mine road, and how cool, you know, of, of a history this is that's pretty much just disappeared into time. And again, I'll include links to this area, descriptions of what possibly happened. Mosquito, the other side, the other side. Yeah, so we just want to say thanks for watching this video of the paint mine area. We know that it's hardly been explored, so we wanted to share this cool little treasure with you. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit like and subscribe. This is David, your very own traveling tutor, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.